first, I must add, that in this video I am not actually sharpening the dovetail cutter, only simulating it. The reason being that I only have one dovetail cutter, which has had very little use, so does not need sharpening. I start by showing how the cutter holder is positioned on the swivel base to achieve the required angle. If you look closely though, you will see the rule is not against the holder, there being a very small gap. This because the rule clamp is contacting the corner of the swivel base. To overcome the problem, an additional hole could be made in the swivel base position where I have marked the blue spot. It would though be preferable to make a second swivel base where holes could be drilled and tapped to suit the task in hand and where the standard swivel plate is not ideal such as in this case. The next stage is to set the fence round by about 2 degrees so that grinding is done on the corner of the wheel. This being the standard practice for most tool sharpening. I am testing the angle by measuring the difference in the space at each edge of the wheel. Anywhere between 3 and 5 mm over 100 mm being more than accurate enough. This on the rear edge. For the primary clearance, an angle of about 5 degrees will be adequate. If the secondary clearance needs grinding, then about 15 degrees. Do take note that the fence has a stop fitted at the wheel end so that the cutter will stop at the same position for each tooth being ground. This adjustment sets the amount being ground off the cutter. And this adjustment the final limit of the movement, this being just sufficient for the cutting edges to be fully ground but not contacting the cutter's small shank next to the cutting edges. This shows the cutter holder has a six tooth ratchet to set the position for grinding each tooth. Finally, for setting up, the following drawing shows how the cutter should be positioned in the cutter holder. Now for the simulated cutter sharpening. The next stage is to grind the end teeth, which needs to be done so that the end has a concave form. With the process being to plunge the cutter into the wheel, this is one example where the ability to rotate the rest's table can be used to set the angle being ground, rather than use the swivel base. One to two degrees being enough.
The table now being set up to achieve a 5 degree angle for the cutting edge's primary clearance. Finally, for setting up, the following drawing shows how the cutter should be positioned in its folder. Do take note though that this differs from the setting for grinding the side edges. This adjustment sets the amount being ground away. And this adjustment ensures the cutting edge is fully ground, whilst ensuring that the adjacent edge is not ground. However, this can only be achieved aided by the curvature of the wheel. Because of this, the table has to be set quite high. Now for the simulated sharpening. I realise that many will not make the end mill sharpening accessory, but that does not mean that dovetail cutters cannot be sharpened. Just a few simple accessories will make it possible. Here we see that a higher fence is needed to cope with the hexagonal cutter holder. And for angles etc, the comments and illustrations earlier should be sufficient. We now see a simulation of the end edges being sharpened. For sharpening the side edges, we need just one additional accessory, a simple triangular item. The action to complete the task is with an Allen key in the hole in the triangular part apply a force attempting to pull it away from the wheel. However, with the cutter holder in one's hand, apply a force to move the cutter forward and also a force sideways to keep the cutter holder against the triangular accessory and the accessory against the fence. A few test runs prior to actually grinding the cutter would be a good idea.